Thank you, Jisco. Coach Chandler Guitros, the Tarpons stay hot, get a win over Ellender, 15th win of the season. You guys are 4 0 this week, bro, and another great showing from your offense, man. You guys were getting barrel after barrel today. Absolutely, man. Our kids are just locked in right now. It's been a lot of fun these last four days. I don't know if I've ever played uh, four games in four days like this. Uh, at this level, but it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun just coming to the park every day and going to work with these guys. They're bought in, they're locked in. Offensively, we're seeing it well. We're throwing strikes, we're taking care of the baseball. This is the best we've played all year, and it's not even close. Uh, just so proud of the boys. Eight of your nine regular starters in the lineup had hits. Uh, you guys are getting big contributions from the bottom, big contributions from the top. Like It's a long lineup that I, I don't see any easy outs in right now. Right, and a couple of weeks ago, there were there were a few guys are stepping up right now, guys that we've been counting on, waiting for it to click. And it's taken a while to adjust, but we've been seeing some pretty good pitching. I mean, uh, Marcel Kidd's a college player. Landry that we saw last night's committed to UL. These are some, some good players that were really hitting well. Uh, so just tremendous job by our offense continuing to buy into the approach. And, uh, you know, it's just we're locked in. We know our backs are against the wall. Uh, you know, I wish we could play a 50-game season right now, the, right. the way that this is going, you know, because we didn't have this a couple of weeks ago. So, really been great to see. 15 and 10. Um, I don't know what your number is going to be after today. Um, I was just telling the kids, look, I don't know if you guys are going to get in or not, but I know this, y'all are better than y'all were a month ago, and, and, and it's not close to me. Yeah, that, that's all you can see. Look, this is a quality baseball team that we have. This is a good baseball team. Uh, if it was the old Division II bracket, I don't know nobody wants to see us in the first, second round, man. But uh, that's all we can do is worry about what we got uh, or what we can control, continue to get better each day, and uh, continue to develop these relationships with each other, man. This is the, the cl most close uh, group that we've ever had here uh, in my 10 years as a coach. They just love each other. There's no arguments with each other ever, always having each other's back. So it's just really fun to come to work every day and watch these boys compete. Played 27 innings in four days and haven't run out of pitching. That, that's impressive, man. Your guys on the mound have had a great week. Yeah, look, we had a decision to get some guys some mound time at the end of the game. We're just closer with Kiro. That's just because we, we haven't been able to get everybody to work. It's uh, just tremendous, especially what our starting pitching has done. We've been much more efficient this season than in previous years, throwing strikes, pitching a contact, and being able to get out with less pitches from our starting pitch. So that's been tremendous for us. Warren Easton maybe on Saturday. Uh, it's going to be rainy. they got a turf field. Uh, but that's another big opportunity, man. They've got some wins. T talk to us about that challenge there. Yeah, look, we saw them in the playoffs last year. Yeah, look, we played them three times last year, saw them in the playoffs to go to the quarters. Uh, very good offensive team. I was very impressed with them offensively last year. I thought we swung the bat well against them, but it might be some track meets uh, or a track meet on Saturday. We're going to go with Mason Bozegar, try to keep them off balance and, uh, you know, just try to slow their bats down a little bit.